Western army has to be protected against air attack, and it must take its protection with it, right up with the leading combat units. The British company specializing in infantry anti-aircraft missiles is Shorts, whose weapons have lots of combat experience. Blowpipe has now been developed into Javelin. This does not have to be steered. Instead, Javelin is another semi-automatic to line of sight weapon. The operator holds the bright aiming mark on the target, and a TV camera in the aiming unit senses bright flares on the missile and generates corrective signals. Missile tubes can be loaded, fired, and reloaded in seconds. Here, Javelin support is brought up in an armored personnel carrier. One version uses a lightweight multiple launcher which can fire three rounds in rapid succession. Here, there is just one target, a hostile helicopter. The operator gets it in his magnifying sight and puts the aiming pipper squarely on it, using his thumb control to keep the target centered until destroyed. As this animated sequence shows, the missile starts spinning for flight stability as it leaves the tube and the fin tips snap open. In slow motion, the firing sequence starts as the gas pressure generated by the rocket-driven gyro blows the cap off the end of the tube. Then the rear closure is blown off by the launch of the missile. The rapid burn first stage motor pops the missile from its tube. At a safe distance from the launcher, the cruise motor fires. This takes the missile to its target at supersonic speed out to distances exceeding 2.5 miles. Any airborne assault force, such as this troop being air-landed from Puma helicopters, has to have air defense. Few systems are as light and compact as Javelin, which in its shoulder-fired version weighs only about 22 pounds. Javelin and Blowpipe have the advantage of being battle-proven, but the maker, Shorts, now has an even newer missile, Starstreak, described later. 